What's going on guys? Today we are talking about Boohoo and I actually thought on the channel we're doing quite well, you know. We've not talked about Greg's, we've not talked about Boohoo for about two weeks now. We're doing them a bit okay now. And next thing I know, Friday, getting towards the weekend, thought we've had a pretty decent week, a couple of decent gains, and thought it was gonna be a nice chill day on Friday. And next thing I know, I go on the stock tracker, look at Boohoo, and I'm like, 10% down on Boohoo. You know what what's going on here? Um, and yeah, Boohoo had a bit of a drop on Friday and uh, after the drop on Friday, I started to see a few of the comments starting to roll in on like recent videos about Boohoo saying what I thought about the drop at the moment and uh, I could tell you guys were um, keen for a little bit of update. Obviously, Boohoo is actually my biggest position in the stock market as well. So um, obviously that move really did affect my portfolio. Um, so I've been kind of covering the Boohoo story in general, the stock price, where I'm at with Boohoo, I'm selling and I'm buying and everything like that guys so if you're new around here make sure you subscribe if you've been here all the time make sure you smash that like button guys and we'll get stuck into Boohoo. So when I did see the 10% drop in Boohoo I thought right it's either going to be the Daily Mail or the Guardian one of them is going to be posting about Boohoo and this is going to be the drop and I looked and it was the Guardian so we got there. So basically Guardian thought we hadn't talked about Boohoo for a bit let's put it back in the headlines and they went on about the Boohoo factories or the Leicester factories talking about a third party report that basically went and said that 18 of Boohoo suppliers weren't paying to minimum wage. Now back in July time, I think the last drop was, we kind of knew that this was one of the allegations that were there and basically what the Guardian have decided to do is go back over like the last three years and see that there was 18 kind of like red flags about some of these boohoo factories that have been investigated it's not really any new news to us like we kind of knew this was one of the problems and this is why the stock dropped 50 percent you know only like two months ago and um, so we kind of you know this is we kind of knew this what was going on it was one of the things that caused the stock to drop but we decided to bring the story back up and then obviously well talk about some of the allegations that have gone on about some of these suppliers over the last three years um to you know just get them headlines out there and once again guys it's really you know big thing for me to state here you know the, this is boohoo factories this isn't this isn't boohoo this is actually like the suppliers factories boohoo boohoo only get them to make the clothes boohoo don't own these factories they're not the ones responsible for this obviously you can always say that boohoo should do, be doing a little bit of a job of like checking the suppliers but it's one of those you know if you wanted to sell some lamps and you ordered these lamps from a supplier and then it came out the supplier hadn't been paying minimum wage, would you think it's fair if you got punished for it? Probably not because you didn't really know. You were just kind of buying the product, weren't you really? And that's the thing, like Boohoo have no responsibility here. Like I say, maybe they could get a slap on the wrist and be like, you know, come on, you should have been checking this out. But like I say, it's suppliers and like I say, it's, you know, over a three, three year course as well. Uh, it's quite a long time and they, obviously they do work with quite a lot of suppliers and I'm sure there's a lot of factories here that were were totally fine but it seems like Guardian hadn't talked about Boohoo for a while and it felt like just bringing it back up and once again it put Boohoo in the headlines when it wasn't them it's you know a total different company but because they supply the clothes for Boohoo sticking Boohoo in there brings the sales in it gets people to buy the newspapers and that's always something you've got to be really careful of guys. So what does it mean for the stock? Well, the stock was actually doing, um, well, starting to recover from them lows that a lot of us bought in and a lot of us were up 30%, 40%. And my average is 240. So I was up not too bad, really. And like I say, we were kind of pushing towards the 13, 10 range-ish. And then obviously we had the stock decline quite a bit. And um, the stock actually on the day um, when the new story was broke, um, actually dropped about 15%. But then it actually did recover um, about 5% of it. Um, so it actually did end up closing about 289, which wasn't too bad. But at one point it was around about 270. So it did have quite a big dip on the day. But once again, you saw you know a couple of people you know buying into this company on the dip. And can you blame them? You know, when you look into Boohoo, fantastic company. You know, we don't have many companies here in the UK or in the stock exchange that has the growth that Boohoo has. You know, fantastic, going to be growing, you know, 30% revenue rate, profit growing, 
balance sheet wise you know company that has a very very good balance sheet you know there's not many of companies out there for us to buy in the uk that has this sort of growth and this sort of balance sheet and it's one of those that i think will carry on doing well especially when you think about the covid situation you know more people are going to be shopping online so boohoo is going to benefit from that i think when you look at you know when you get to the you know the back end of the year sales christmas sales you know i think less people will be on the high street more online once again, Boohoo is going to be really benefit from the current situation as well. So it's, you know, a strong company that's probably going to do even better over the next, what or has been doing better over the last few months and will carry on to do better. So, you know, it's still a really fantastic company. So first of all, what I'm going to say is that, you know, only a few weeks ago, I actually took a little bit of profit in Boohoo. I sold about 10% of my position, you know, nothing huge, but it was just taking a little bit of profit off the table. You know, I was up 30, 40% in the stock. And it just made sense to me that it was my biggest position at the time. Uh, and well, it still is my biggest position, but it just made sense that it makes up so much of my portfolio. And if something happens to Boohoo, obviously it affects my portfolio. That's what I said on the video. You can go check it out a few weeks ago. And I wanted to protect myself from that. And, you know, I didn't think it was going to happen, but here we go. You know, with a lot of stocks, things change overnight. You know, you can be riding, you know, a big massive gain and next thing you know some story comes out sends your stock down huge and then you're like oh, i should have took some of them profits and boohoo was in that situation you know it had a very good run it made sense to me take 10 percent of that profit off the table hold it in cash and you might have another opportunity down the line to buy something else or maybe even the same stock so i it does see that's one of the things that i say guys is that you know you've always got to protect your profits and you know, it does seem now like a good decision a few uh, weeks ago to take 10% of my profit in Boohoo when I was up 30, 40%. But overall, I'm still up on my Boohoo position and I'm sure a lot of you guys that bought in that 240 range are still in a pretty decent position if you're still holding on to your shares. Now, there's two things here, really. I think where Boohoo goes from here is that it depends how much the headlines push it. You know, when it had the, the drop last time, it was because a lot of the news articles were pushing it for a good week two weeks um so it depends how much they want to push it if the guardian want to carry on being a bit of a um a word that i can't say on google because i don't want to get demonetized but yeah if they want to carry on being them um obviously then it's going to send the sock down and I, you know what i'd like to say if the people that write these articles at daily mail and guardian i love them to disclose at the bottom if they have any influence into the stock market if they're short in a position in boohoo it just seems like they're attacking them all the time but it depends you know how much they want to take it in the you know the newspaper is where the stock will go if it ends here and it doesn't carry on next week then the stock should see recovering if it doesn't carry it if it does carry on sorry we might have potential for the stock to go a little bit lower from here so we'll see what happens it kind of it's kind of in their hands unfortunately um but as far as it goes like selling wise i'm not selling like for me the next point i was going to sell was about 350 ish um, so obviously it's not anywhere near that right now. Um, so I'm not kind of selling. Uh, I'm glad I took that 10% profit. Buying wise, personally for me, I don't really want to buy here because it's still higher than my average. The only time I would want to buy is when it goes lower than my average. So for me, Boohoo would have to go below 240 for me to go buy anymore. But saying that, if some of you guys were on the sideline, maybe you were kind of thinking, I'll buy Boohoo if it goes lower and then, you know, it, it popped up or maybe you sold out after the jump and you're looking now and thinking, this is kind of a second opportunity here to get into this stock if you missed out. So I would say that from you guys, that were a few of you guys were on the sidelines thinking, is it a good opportunity? I, I was still getting a few comments, you know, when the stock was going up 300, 310, is it still time to buy Boohoo? And I was like, yeah, but you're not getting it at the best price, which it was at. And this is one of those where you've got another opportunity now that if you did miss out, you could go buy who buy boohoo but for me um my average is still quite far off this so it doesn't really interest me at the moment but like i say if it does get below my average then we're talking where i could potentially invest into it so i'm not buying any, any more shares at the moment but for some of you guys that maybe missed out this could be your you know your second chance to maybe get it instead of missing out so um overall like i say um that's my opinion on boohoo at the moment and i hope it helps for you guys out there maybe getting a little bit nervous or maybe thinking that you're on the sidelines and you want to get into this one so like i say it's a good opportunity on this big drop um so yeah that's my opinion on boohoo guys if you've made it all the way to the end guys and you're new around here make sure you subscribe if you made it all the way to the end guys make sure you hit that like button and i'll see you in the next video